The Incipio Organigore is the only case in the last while that I've actually had to pay custom fees for because my government thought that I was importing in cereal. This is the fourth compostable case that I've reviewed and I will say that it's going to be the toughest one out of the current group as Incipio has rated it to six feet in terms of drop protection. But the question I have is, will this case split apart like some of the other cases that I've, compostable cases that I've reviewed? With a lot of like this case to find one and this outback one, if I take my fingernail, I can kind of scrape pieces off of it, but I can't really do that with the uh, Organicore or it's not as evident to me that this case will come apart. I still kind of can, but not to the extent of like peeling chunks of the case out of the uh, case to fly conscious and the outback. So we'll see how well this fares in the drop. Or like right now. Dust protection overall from a case perspective, this feels kind of weird. At Monty Reviews, Amonti and I base our reviews on actual usage, which means we wait for companies to approach us with money to help them sell products, and then we do a sponsored post for them to encourage you guys to buy the product. I kid, but 9 to 5 Mac doesn't. The organic core seems to fit tightly around the iPhone. I say seems because the corners do come off fairly easily, but the edges of the case are incredibly rigid. It's not like the flappy noodle edges you would find on the Pella case. Now the case won't slide around easily on the back or the front. And the Incipio Organicore, as I just said, is one of the biggest cases in the compostable case class. The corners of this product have a thickness of about 2.1 millimeters. Now I will note that the edges of the case are slightly thicker than the rest of the case, and the bottom of the case has this odd bump that doesn't show up anywhere else on the uh, case. Which is a little weird to me, but yeah. Now, Incepio is quite tight-lipped about what's in the materials found in the case, as they say it's 100% composted plant and bio-based material. That's great from a transparency standpoint, isn't it? Incepio does state that the products do meet ASTM D6400 or EN13432 standards, which basically says that these cases will start breaking down after 12 weeks and will break down completely after uh, six months or 90%, or after six months, 90% of the case has to be broken down into CO2, water, and biomass. Now, Monty is gonna be honest with you guys. What do you want me to say? All that stuff means absolutely nothing to us. Why? Because the product is being sold to me as a morally superior product. So it needs to kind of go beyond the smoke and mirrors to show me why that product is better. I could take their word for it. Kind of like the Fortacore. Fortacore. Organicore. My guess is that the Organicore is made from flax more than bamboo, as the fibers look quite similar to the flax found in the Pella case. But unlike the Pella case, the Organicore is quite rigid, which bodes well for face first drops. If you're finding this review useful, consider getting your Organicore through my Amazon links if they sell them on Amazon. Guess you'll find out. Now in general, compostable cases are color sinks. Every case that I've used ends up getting darker, but the Incipio is the best case that sucked the least amount of color from its environment. That's a win. The texture of the case is odd. It feels rubbery, but is still quite slick. I know it sounds weird. Regardless, I found my iPhone slipping out of my hand more often than not, despite the fact that this texture feels like it would be very, very grippy. If I had to pick a compostable case that provided the best performance in terms of handling, it would probably be the Urban Armor Gear Outback. When it comes to using the iPhone in the organic core, you'll notice that the buttons are tough to use. Other than that, camera access is fine, port access is fine, but the edges of this case, despite being very rigid, are very sharp and very noticeable, so you will know those edges are there when you're gesturing your way through your iPhone. Rear door is locked. And when it comes to protection, Incipio claims that it has six feet worth of drop protection, which is kind of believable, again, because this case is thicker than all the other compostable ones. But as I said at the beginning of the video, what's the mileage going to be in terms of drop? Not bad. 
I don't think that drop went through the case. Corner looks fine. There's so many ads here. Like it's crazy how many ads there are. Uh. Oh no, a little bit. God, ants. That's a pretty big dent. Well, these cases are a notch below when it comes to wear and tear. You will. So that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments? I've got one more compostable case to go through before I do the big roundup. I do have, I will also uh, review the, the Tech 21 plant-based ones as well as the Life Proof surf or slam or whatever i i bought it i can't find it um but the one that's made from recycled uh ocean plastic uh so those are coming up for this kind of genre or class of cases uh first time watching my videos i do encourage you to click subscribe producing contents i don't actually know after this 120 videos drops next week and after that i don't know i might try something different with these videos like a daily vlog about what I am reviewing and then like maybe big roundups like before. I don't know, playing around, just noodling in my head. That's one of my favorite phases recently. Noodling it in my head. That's, you know, Steve Carell in the Space Force. Just noodling it around from episode two. Y you get me. Monty doesn't. I don't know if you guys can see, but Monty's ears are kind of folded over. And so I remember when he was a puppy I got him, and he had his ears down when I first met him. But then he, uh, I think he was just getting used to like me, and so his ears started to fold back like this. And I was just like, "What's wrong with your ears? Why aren't they like flapping down? Did I get a faulty dog?" Was what I thought for the first week or so. That was over ten years ago. We're almost coming up on ten years. Where are you going? We haven't even started.